first things first, we want to try running a WebXR application on our desktop. Um, so I've loaded one here called WebXR Cones, which is a 3JS example, and I'm just going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to click on Start AR, and if I right click here, I basically start getting these cones. So, of course, this is not actually AR because I'm running this on my desktop computer, but this is an environment where we can look at uh, you know, the, the code on the page and we can look at the JavaScript output. So it's going to be really helpful uh, in debugging. Let me show you what this example looks like on a phone. All right, so this is exactly the same website on mobile, and you can see here that when I tap, I generate these cones. All right, so how do we actually get to run this example on desktop? How do we even get to this example? So the easiest way to do that is to search for 3JS, and you're gonna find yourself, it's probably gonna be the first result. And from here, you want to go to examples and you want to search for web XR. And this first example should say AR cones. So you can click on that. But notice what happens here. I get a message that says AR not supported. So how do I make this work? Well, we're actually going to use a tool here called the web XR API emulator, which is a Chrome extension. And the way that you can get to this is by searching for WebXR emulator Chrome extension. And this should also come up as one of the first results. So just click on that and uh, click on. So this works for Chrome or for Firefox. I'm just using Chrome. So you can click on add to Chrome, add extension. And nothing's going to happen here. I mean, it's going to install, but you know, you're not going to see anything happen. Um, what you actually want to do is you want to go back to the cone page. So this one that I was on before, and you might have to first enable the extension. So this is something we have to do just once. You might have to pin it here so that you can find it amongst your other extensions. Uh, and if you try clicking on it, you'll see that nothing is going to happen. It's just going to be a bunch of text. So now that we're on this page, what you want to do is uh, on the Chrome menu, you want to find an option called developer tools. So the way I got there is I clicked on view, developer, developer tools. So if you click on this, you're going to see the side panel come up. And then here you want to click on these uh, little arrow tabs here. And now look what just showed up here. We have a little text here that says Web XR. If you click on this, then you're going to get this little um, sort of VR looking headset here. And the last step is to go to this list and click on Samsung Galaxy S8 AR. OK, click on that. And now you can get out of here. And if I reload the page now, check out what happens. Now the button says Start AR. So now I can actually click on this. And so, you know, I get this sort of this, this room, which again doesn't make much sense in AR, but this emulator works for web VR as well. So that's why the room is here. Um, you can zoom in and out by using kind of like the scroll. Uh, the scroll button on your mouse or just typically whatever way that you scroll through a website. So in my case, I'm using two fingers to scroll um, in and out. And this mirror looking thing here actually represents your phone. I know it's a little confusing, but it sort of represents your phone. And if I right click, it simulates a click on the screen. So if I right click, I'm going to see these cones appear. And this is an example that we're going to look at a little bit in detail later. Um, and I can also uh, do a left click and sort of cycle through this option to either rotate um, or, or move the phone around, um, rotate or move the phone around. 
So that's that you can access through a left click. So again, right click to simulate a touch a touch uh, gesture on the phone. In this case, that adds some cones, and then left click to cycle through uh, moving uh, the phone around. And that's how we uh, debug on desktop. You might be wondering, well, again, why do I want to use this? And so, again, if I go to View, Developer, Developer Tools, this is going to be really handy because we can check the code here. We can check the HTML. We can look for uh, JavaScript uh, logs here. And that's just going to be really helpful for debugging.